The following chemical energetics questions related to bond energies, and it's slightly, uh, it's uh, it's a slight trick, uh, slightly tricky question. The question uh, states that which bond in the structure below has the lowest bond energy? So you're given uh, A, B, and C and D are options. So you're given uh, different bonds. Uh, so I'm going to list uh, them over here. A is the CH bond. Uh, B is the C single bond C. Uh, C is uh, the CF bond, whereas uh, D is the C uh, CL bond. So these are the bonds. Uh, the use of the data booklet is relevant to this question. So I'm going to pick the data booklet and I'm going to list the bond energies that are given in the data booklet. So the CH bond energy is given as four. Uh, it's given as 410 kilojoules per mole. Uh, the C single bond C bond energy, if I search the data booklet, it's given as uh, 350 kilojoules per mole. Then I'm going to look for the CCL bond energy that's given as 340. And what's missing in the data booklet is the CF bond energy. The CF bond energy is uh, is not present in the data booklet. So, so you would be asked uh, what you uh, what you would be asked to do with this question is to you you have to guess what the CF bond energy is. So the question is asking which one uh, has the lowest which bond has the lowest bond energy. So we're looking for the lowest bond energy. So that uh, the lowest so far right now among all these bond energies is uh, uh, from the options if you ignore the CF bond uh, is going to be D right now the CCL has the lowest bond energy so the CCL has the lowest bond energy but uh, we're not sure so we can we can get rid of the of the first two options options uh, A and B can be cut out so you're left with the last two options the CCL bond has the lowest bond energy so far uh, but we don't know what the CF bond energy is now, uh, the way you're going to guess what the CF bond energy is, is by knowing the fact that bigger atoms make weaker bonds. So CSCL is, is going to be a bigger bond. The bond length would be greater. The reason compared to C and F bond. The reason why CCL is going to have a bigger bond is because CL is a bigger atom compared to fluorine over here. So smaller atoms are closer together. So the force of attraction and the orbital overlap and the attraction for each other's electrons is going to be stronger because they're closer together. CL being a bigger atom is going to form weaker bonds because a bigger atom would be further away. The two atoms would be further away from each other. So the force of attraction uh, for the shared electrons is going to be weaker. So uh, bigger atoms, remember this, that bigger atoms make weaker bonds. And the reason they make weaker bonds is uh, because uh, there's greater bond length. They would be far apart from each other. Plus there would be less orbital overlap they would not be attracting each other's electrons very strongly, less orbital overlap. Because of the distance plus the shielding effect also kicks in, they have more shells, so the force of attraction for the outer electrons decreases. Hence, the CF bond is comparatively going to be stronger. So it's going to be comparatively stronger than the CCL bond, and if it's comparatively stronger, then it's going to have a higher bond energy compared to the CCL. So since we were looking for the lowest bond energy, therefore the CCL bond is going to have the lowest bond energy because the CF bond would be stronger and it's going to have a higher bond energy. So, so the correct option in this question is going to be the CCL bond. That would be the weakest of all the four bonds. So option D is going to be the correct option for this question.